Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Got to Change. Today, we're going to be talking about a drunk elementary teacher. I'm sure you guys have seen this video on the Law and Crime Network. Um, it's been out for a few weeks, but I thought I wanted to talk about just a few things that I noticed that I thought was interesting with the interactions. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, you know, I'm just stalling for my people to get. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. Did you drink something? Last night. not here at school because it seemed that it changed. I mean, your demeanor kind of changed. This part's actually kind of loud. Let me move it forward a little bit. Oh, oh, I wouldn't bring it into the school. Okay. It's my decision. So let's see what happens. All right. All right. So you're, you're going to blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? And you're going to keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Until I tell you to stay. Until I tell you to stop, okay? All right. All right. Give it a second. I don't know how to do this. You're just going to blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon as soon as I tell you to. Right, really? Most both think, people think, don't know how to do a breath like that. It's not like an everyday thing. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Stop. Good job. Okay. Did you drink something? Last night. Now, she blows a point two four eight. Now, let's take a step back to see who this lady is. Let me explain it a little bit. This is an elementary teacher. your third grade teacher. Okay. She comes to school, they're wondering what's going on, baby. You're acting a little, you know, a little off, right? I'm going to give my experience with something that happened similar to this for me um, and that I was personally involved. Um, and so it is sad to see somebody come to school when they've been drinking or they're intoxicated. For her to blow a .248, it's towards the end of the day, right? So she had to have had something to drink while she was at work. OK, the officer is going to go on to say, I think she's a functioning alcoholic, which I would also agree with. OK, but that doesn't make it better. She's going to say, I went, I try to go to counseling. I try to do this. I try to do that. And it does seem a little bit sad. And I am totally with it being sad up until one point that really bothers me. That really makes me change my whole view on it. Um, and I would like to go over that. I was going to say more, but hold on, let me not spoil everything, baby. All right, so she blows that. You gonna tell me the truth? How much you had to drink? I, I drank last night. There's no way you drank last night. Well, I did drink last night. Did you drink at school? Is what he's asking. You tell us the I, truth. I, I didn't drink at school. At this point, listen, breathalyzer we know are inadmissible in court. Doesn't matter. The point is though, <laughs> you just blew a point two four eight, which is three times over the point zero eight, right? Why would you lie at this point? It's not like you're going to keep your job. It doesn't matter what happens from this point. You might as well just say I was drunk. Now, I think she's more afraid of, she's at this point, and she's afraid of getting fired if she tells the truth. It's going to be way worse than that. But if you just sit here and lie, they're not even going to try to work with you. Because there's some people who've gotten drunk at work, and they got a, they got another chance a couple of years later. But the fact that you're lying and doing all this, it's, it's almost like you're saying you don't want to get better, which does happen when you are an alcoholic. Let's move forward a little bit. I, I don't want you to call him. Well, I can't let you leave. If you leave, you're going to get arrested. Yeah, so what worried. happens here is she gets ready. She says he has to call somebody. Okay. See, this is what they're doing. I want to say this before we continue. This is what they're doing. They're giving her an opportunity to have her husband come pick her up. Because if she doesn't, then she's going to get arrested. But she refused to call her husband. And that's what he's saying. Hey, you got to call somebody. Something's got to go on. But she just keeps stalling. So I need somebody to come pick you up. This is, to me, this is the hard part to watch because you're watching somebody realize it's all over. You know, I don't know how much money her and her husband are making or what's going on. Maybe she actually loves her job. I'm not sure. But you can tell she knows it's over. She, that's why she's lost for words. You ever been there in life where you get there and you're just like, I remember, you know, hold on. <laughs> I remember one time, and I, this is not the story I was going to tell earlier, but this is a story before then. I remember one time, guys, I got, I told you guys I got kicked out of my uh, worship band when I was younger because I got drunk at a party. I didn't get caught for two weeks, but I did get caught. At that moment, I knew it was over. You know, when they said, is this you drinking? I'm like, 
Well, you start contemplating everything. Like, what led up to this point? What could you have done differently? You're just like, man. And I wasn't an alcoholic at this point. I was just a young man. I just got drunk at a party. And it was just kind of like, man, everything I worked so hard for, because I had been trying so hard. I had to learn how to play instruments by myself with no help. And I got so good that I was good enough to play for the main worship band, which was a big deal for me as a young kid. And it was just like, I can't believe my whole life is going to be ruined by this one bad party. Well, just I felt leave. Like that. leave. It wasn't my whole life. You're going to get arrested. Yeah, I'm going to rush you for DUI. So I need somebody to come pick you up. The embarrassment. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to keep quit pausing. <laughs> I just, I, I, I know I've been having a hard time. I just, uh, am, am I going to get fired? Just I, honestly, I, yes. Or you can resign. You're under the influence at school. You know what's you. crazy? When I watch this video plenty of times, I'm sure you guys have too. I never see her shed an actual tear. She more makes the noises as she's crying. But it's, it's never real tears that I ever see come down her face. Um, so what I actually think is that maybe she is a little distraught, maybe a little sad, but she's not taking it all in. You know, sometimes it's kind of like, I can't believe this is happening. And you won't realize it's happening because now she's she, she's drunk. She's a functioning alcoholic, but she's still drunk. It doesn't all hit you until you sober down. It's when you get sober. It's when you're like, oh, man, wow. You know, it's kind of like that one video you saw of that one woman who took the lives of two people and she's laughing about when she gets to go home. She, you, When you're drunk, that's what's the bad thing about being drinking is such a problem because you lose all inhibition. You lose all care for other people around you. You just think about what's going on instantly in your life right at that moment. So she can't even take in that she put kids in danger. She can't put in that she could have put somebody else in danger. She's this drunk. Remember, it's end of the school day. So she was getting ready to go home. She would have been driving drunk. She doesn't put any of this into her mind. She just thinks, am I going to get fired? It's like, what about the other people? What about the kids? What, what if you had done something crazy? Yes, that cannot happen. I, 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 can it not just be that it's in my blood system? And that's why Unless it's... Unless you were drank a shit ton well, at I, like... I, Eight o'clock this morning. I don't think. I don't know how you could still be that hot. She's trying to. I, I at did. this point, she's trying to figure. Out, yeah, yeah. I was about to say this. I've already seen the video, obviously, but just being more looking into it a little bit more, you knew she was coming up with the lie because when she said, "Could I have?" I mean, could it be for something else? As soon as he get, as soon as he opened the door to say, "Hey." I mean, unless you had a lot to drink, she started thinking like, what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Watch her face. You see what I'm saying? Um, well, at I, like I, eight o'clock this morning, I don't think, I don't know how you could still be that hot. Mm. I, I did drink a lot last night. How much exactly. Did you? As soon as he opened the door for her to say, unless you had a lot this morning. And then she goes, I did have a lot last night. I mean, how much? That, guys, you got to, I mean, I'm sure you guys understand this, but to blow a .248 and you drunk the night before, guys, you would have had to drink so much, it poisoned you, even though alcohol poisons you anyway. I mean, she would be throwing up. I'm sure she would have passed out. I'm sure she'd be in the hospital. If you're so drunk from the night before that you blow a .248, okay, let's say she said she, she her, her story mixes up, but let's say she drunk at 3 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. It's the afternoon at this point. So you're trying to tell me you drunk so much from 3 that 10 hours later, you're still blowing a .248, which is wildly intoxicated. It's like, even then, it doesn't matter. See, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. Even if she drunk last night and she hopped into a vehicle, she still was breaking the law. She still would have been drinking and driving. She blew a .248. She didn't drive there alone because she can't could remember they're trying to get her picked up. She would have been drunk. If she was that, let's say in the most craziest world, she still drank, drive, showed up to work intoxicated. 
Any lie she makes up, it doesn't matter at this point. I don't know why she keeps trying to push it to make it seem like she didn't drink at work. Right? I guess she's trying to say she didn't drink on campus. You're trying to get out of that. But you still drink and drove, ma'am. You're not making it better. So if you say that you were drunk before you got to work, you just say you drunk, you went, you drank and drive. And now if you say you either have to say I did this here at school and you're screwed, or you have to say I got in a vehicle and you're screwed. You drink. I don't too much. What what do you drink? Too much. Wine. So how many, how many bottles of wine? Do you and drink? let me shut up. Uh, we had the box. Did you drink a whole box of wine? Mm, half a box. And you stopped drinking at like three this morning. Presley Johnson, please come to the uh, office. Presley the problem Johnson. is, is they said you were please fine this morning, the and then now, after recently, they've noticed a difference. See, and that's weird to me. That's that's. Uh, that, that it was okay this morning. I would think that it would be. Which makes me think that you you drank recently. I, I would I would think I, I I could see like this morning, but I couldn't see. Like... So, your option. Clearly, she's a robot. As you saw, she was talking, and she skipped to the. I'm just kidding. All right, so I want to tell a little bit. Uh, we're gonna get to the part where it gets out of hand. And what I'm about to say relates perfectly to this. So let me go ahead and give you just a quick overview of what happens. Because from this point to what we're about to see now, it's just arguing, going back and forth. They go to the office. They, I mean, they go to her room to try to get her purse, get all her stuff to make sure she doesn't have any alcohol in the room, blah, 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 which could have been dangerous because if any of the kids have found the alcohol, that's what I'm saying. That's why I can't really vibe with what she's saying here. But I remember I went to work one day, living my life. You know, I'm just sitting there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I show up. I get out of my 1998 minivan. Okay, 1998 minivan. No AC. Have to roll the windows down. It's hot, baby. We live in Texas. You know how we get down. So I get out of the vehicle, and a coach walks up to me, and he says to me, "He says, do you think I'm gonna not say verbatim what he said, but you think you're all that, huh? You think because you got your little gold badge." I had a gold badge because I worked for the district of the entire school. We got a gold badge. It was not that important. I did not make that much money. I was broke. I was, buying a, I was driving a 1998 minivan, dog. What makes you think I have money? But anyway, he was mad because I had a gold badge and he didn't. It was a dumb thing. But he had obviously been drinking. Okay. So anyway, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, you think you're all that hot stuff, huh? You think you're all that? And I mean, this guy gets in my face. In my face, just, you think you're all that, boy? Huh? You think you're doing all this? Huh? You think you're great because you got a gold badge? You ain't done shit around here. You ain't nothing around here. And I'm just like, only thing that's going through my mind is not fighting. Because, come on, dog. <laughs> I'm a grown, well, I'm not a grown man at this point. I'm a grown man, but I'm, I'm pretty young. I'm probably like 23-ish. And so I'm like, only thing I'm thinking about is please don't hit my 1998 minivan. I was thinking he was going to try to throw a punch and I was going to, you know, hit him with the okie doke and he was going to break my back window. That's all I was thinking about. I did not think about fighting this man because I knew he wasn't about it, you know, and uh, to be honest, I wasn't about it. I'm a square. I'll fight if I have to. I have some training, but it's not it's not that serious. I don't go looking for a fight. That's wild. That'll get you knocked out. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, he gets in my face. He does all this. So a woman in red walks up and she blames me. For all this happening. She tried to break it up for me. She's pushing me back. It's like, I'm not even saying anything. Dude walked up in my face and started telling me about how I'm wearing a gold badge. Even though I'm broke, I'm eating ramen noodles every day. Heck, I'm not even eating ramen noodles. I'm eating some off-brand of the off-brand called Noodles of the Ramen. It's crazy. And this man's getting in my face. I'm broke. I ain't got no food in the fridge. And somehow I'm still fat. I'm depressed, baby. <laughs> and this guy gets in my face. The red-headed lady comes and breaks us up. And guess who gets in trouble? I do, right? I end up not being able to go back to the school for a little bit. But that guy actually ended up getting suspended because they actually ended up watching the security cam. People thought it was my fault because I was new, but because I kind of came out of nowhere. But nonetheless, this man went away. So all I'm saying is I've seen somebody get drunk. I've seen somebody show up to work and it could have went way worse because if I was a hothead, he could have got knocked flat on his face, you know? If I was a if I was a person who wasn't well tempered, if he had came across somebody else who was 
ready to fight, he could have got himself knocked out. Or the other person could have got knocked out. It could have turned into an all-out fight right in front of all these kids, right? I'm just saying, you never know what happens when you get drunk. And I understand that in this case, this woman is a functioning alcoholic, but this is where she loses me. Just like this guy. I would have had more sympathy for him, but when this kind of stuff happens... I'm sorry. Officer Dean, please, please don't do this. Please. Uh, Where's your wallet at? I have your driver's license on. Is your first name Kimberly? Is that yes. your legal first name? Is your driver's license in Oklahoma? Yes. Please, please don't arrest me. Please let me just call a friend to come and get me. I'll, ca I'll call a friend. Uh, I'll do whatever I have to, but please don't arrest me. Please. Hello. Please, please don't do this. Please don't. Hello. Do she does this for like 10 to 15 minutes it feels like y'all can see this is a this is a 35 minute video and i skipped through what 10 15 minutes of her doing this the entire time hello? so the cop has lost his patience at this point hello Wait. okay i'll be back in just a second okay. all right here's the deal no. stand up you are under arrest i'm gonna place handcuffs on the front of you in front of you no 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 Spencer, you're gonna come. You might have to come in here. Maybe. No. No, I'm in Miss Bowles' she's office. She's doing all this fake crying for nothing. She don't think about her. Uh, can you the let consequences her in? Mr. Ogle's gonna come let you in. Functioning alcoholics, I get it. I have another story for you. Yeah, I'll All right. No. Type down in the comment section if you stand I'm, up. I'm not gonna see it. Stand up. Can it just? No, I said I'm done. No, just, no. Can I just walk out without the hand? No. No, please just let me walk out. With no, it. it's policy. I'm not going to, I'm not. I, I, I'm going to cuff you up front. If you're going to keep running your mouth, you're going to get cuffed behind you. Wait, can I just talk to you for a second? Please. Please don't. Put me. your hands behind your back. I want to say this. The reason she's wearing a tag that says her name is because it's the first day of school. No, I don't want to. That want right to? there. Is what made me slip a little bit. When she flat out, after this man gave her every opportunity, he allowed. Guys, you have to watch the full video. Please go watch it over on the Law and Crime Network. After he allowed her to get this far, he said numerous times, please call a friend to come pick you up. Please call your husband to come pick you up. Please call somebody to come pick you up. And then now, after 10 to 15 minutes of arguing, okay, and I want to mention this one thing. The reason the cop is a little bit more upset because she had a cup that had wine in it before. When he left to go check her stuff, he left to go check and see where her purse was and everything. She wiped out the cup to show that she did not have any wine. Right. I didn't show that part because it, it falls like really in the mix. But nonetheless, she wiped out the cup that had wine in it to try to get rid of evidence. So he's on edge when it's like, ma'am. You could have easily avoided a lot of this if you had just called your husband or called a friend. But now that we're here, you're going to tell me, no, I don't want to be in handcuffs. I gave you plenty of opportunity to fix it. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera. I gave you plenty of opportunity to fix this. And what did you decide to do? You decided to sit here, fake cry, argue with me, and then you wipe out my cup to show that you were drinking wine? You're going to disrespect me now and disrespect everything we're doing. It, shows, it tells me you don't care what you did at this point. You ain't showing no remorse at this point. You were just saying, I'm going to do whatever I want to. It's just despicable. And then she's going to flat out say, uh, no, I don't want to get arrested. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? I gave you all this time and now you're going to tell me no? And then you're going to wipe out that cup? You don't care about the kids? You don't care about nobody going on around you? I, I, I sound like her. I, uh, I, eat, ooh. Put your hands behind your back. No, uh I don't want to. You, you don't want, want to, to go to jail with no. multiple charges? No. Put your hands behind your back. Please don't do this. Please. I just want to talk to you. Can you Get just talk to me? Put your hands behind your back. That happens. I'm not. I'm not please. Will you just please talk to me? Uh, we've tr I've tried talking to you. What are you you're, you're not talking to me now. It, talking's over. Well, what about my stuff? It'll go with you to the jail. I, okay, so pretty much they walk her down all the way to they walk her down not in front of other kids they tried to show her courtesy did not walk her around the front where children would see her 
They walk into the back. I see they got a nice little. Yeah, and this devil one, isn't it? Well, no, yeah, it's this one right here. The floor coloring is ugly, though. Y'all know how to. Well, if you never worked at a school, you don't know. But man, I've worked at plenty of schools, and man, the cafeterias are always yeah. rough. When I was growing up, we had a dedicated cafeteria. Uh, but other people now these days, I see a lot of cafeterias for kids are in a area where there's a lot of other stuff going on. Like they'll they'll have events in that same room. They'll have I've I've worked at a place where the cafeteria was in the basketball gym. It's just like those schools don't dedicate cafeteria rooms anymore. They just put it somewhere. They don't dedicate and build an entire cafeteria for it to be the cafeteria that you can use for other stuff. And that's it, man. They walk her out. No. Sorry. You know, I'm trying to be positive. I'm just trying to do it a little bit entertaining. This right here, though, this look nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. This, if I was a kid, this be hot. You know, even as an adult, this is kind of hot. Because what I'm thinking about in my head is, man, I can play basketball. And look at all this place I could do sprints. And I'm saying this as a fat man, but I still think about working out. You know, I still know what it is. This right here, all this area, nice cut. You can do a lot of sprints, put on some cleats. Go over here, do some uh, push-ups, pull-ups. Over here, play a little basketball. This is nice. Anyway, that's enough. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this lady, man. I was with her, kind of. When I first watched it, I thought it was kind of sad when she was doing the, oh, it's all over. But then to notice the fake tears, those crocodile tears, all the lies. Uh, she tried, She wiped out the evidence of the wine out of the cup. I was just like, man, I can't rock with this, man. I just can't deal with somebody who would be doing all that. She don't care that she was drinking and driving. She don't care about the kids. And she don't care that she was going to drink and drive and go right back home again. She, all she cared about was when she's going to get fired, right? She was trying to save face. It looks like she's a proud woman, a woman who doesn't... She, I don't think she really cares that people know that she drinks. I think she just cares about having that position as a teacher. Because if you don't know this, people, there's some people in this world that... Being a teacher to them means a lot. I've been a person who've worked with teachers, obviously, and some teachers te treat you well. They don't see themselves as anything but somebody who is a teacher. But some of the teachers, they would treat you like the bottom of the bottom. Just because they're a teacher, they think they're so special. They think they're so great because they have this power dynamic, right? They're over the paraprofessionals. The over the paraprofessionals, they could tell janitors and custodians to come clean the room at any moment, even if they are the one who, guys, listen, I've cleaned up rooms for, I've been a custodian and I've been a, I've been a paraprofessional, I've been a math tutor, I've been a behavior specialist, assistant, I've done a lot. And I could tell you, when I worked as a custodian, there were some teachers who did not care about your life. They would leave their room as dirty as possible because they know a custodian is going to come up behind them and do it. They don't, they're lazy and they feel entitled because they could teach a class, right? It's like, ma'am, I understand you're a teacher, but you're not the smartest person on the planet. You're just not. You're just not. I know intellectually I could keep up with these teachers. I know plenty of custodians that could keep up with these teachers. I know plenty of paraprofessionals. I know secretaries. I know a lot of people that can keep up with these teachers. I'm not saying disrespect teachers. I do think they have a place in this world, obviously, and I respect them. But it's the teachers that get far and above and beyond talking about like, Oh, you think you're so smart. Oh, you think you run the world because they have this power dynamic, not only just custodians, but there's something about when you work with kids that it gets to some people, right? You feel like you have real power to tell a kid, go over there, go tell a kid to do this. And they start crying. You can see some teachers revel in that. They like, they like to see a kid cry because it's like, now you're taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. You know? They like to see kids go to detention. The There's just some people when they get this power dynamic and it can be, I'm not gonna lie to you, it can be hard. When you're over people, it's hard not to want to abuse that power sometimes because because there's times in your life, you know, you felt like you didn't have any power to say anything. And now that you can, sometimes it gets to you. You know, when I was a supervisor, I had to learn to rein, rein it in to be like, I don't, I shouldn't take pleasure in telling people what to do. That's ridiculous. I'm here to help these people. OK, there is discipline that comes with that, but we're here to help. I say all this to say this is to say that that's how I think about this woman. She had all this power over these kids, custodians, whoever, because she's a teacher. And now she's getting treated because now she's in, a, in the face of a police officer where she has no say. That's why when he said you're arrested, she said. I don't want to, baby, you go into the car now. See, and then she wiped up the evidence. Oh, it's just too much. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. <sighs> These people, man, some are great, some make mistakes, and some I just can't vibe with. Peace.